What's up? It's Hallie. Welcome to I Gently Open the Door. It's a Doki Doki Literature Club fan mod that's not affiliated in any way with Team Salvato. And it's designed to be played only after the official game has been completed and contains spoilers for the official game. Game files for Doki Doki Literature Club are required to play this and the mod can be downloaded for free. By playing, I gently open the door. You agree that you have completed Doki Doki Literature Club and contains spoilers for the game. Yeah, that's cool. Before you play, here are a couple important content warnings. This mod contains serious gore. Oh dear. This mod contains an ear rip track. Oh dear! That's it. Enjoy! Very honest. I gently open the door. I gently open the door. Gosh, I wonder what it'll be about. But before we get started, we need to, we need to go over in here. Because even though there's an ear rip track, this is how I have my OBS set up. So the games are kind of quiet-ish compared to my voice, so we gotta do the thing. I didn't need to do the auto-forward part, but that's just how I roll. So, we're gonna click new game, and I'm gonna be me. And we're gonna see what happens when we gently open the door. Serious gore, apparently. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. What, waking her up in her own house? That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori! Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. There it is! The title drop! See ya! Oh no, she hanged herself. Oh my god. You know what? Fuck this shit. We're rewinding. It's going backwards. I reached Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not paying her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Uh, the skip button is not active, so this is still new text. Alright, no more messing around. I quickly run upstairs and get ready for what's to come. I gently open the door. Oh my. Uh. Huh? So, like. I can explain. Please don't. I swing the door open, full force. Sayori! I hear a loud thump from behind the door. Ah. Sayori? I peek around the door to see Sayori on the ground, clutching her nose. You bonked her, dude. Shit, sorry, Sayori. It's okay. Maybe do it harder next time. Ah! I gently open the door. Dude, what the hell? Whoops, wrong room. Sorry, Natsuki. I close the door. Maybe this one. Oh, no. She's dead again. Ah, here we are. Oh, wait. Shit. I gently open the door. See ya. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Why didn't you knock? I did! You just didn't hear it over the... Uh, the, the vibrating. God, is that why the sheets were always so sticky when you made me clean them? The girl has needs, Ellie! Well, stop attending to them and get dressed for the festival. I'm not gonna go to the festival. Why not? I'm gonna be busy. Busy with what? Busy with killing myself. You were masturbating before you were gonna kill yourself? What else am I supposed to do? I don't know. Think about reasons why you shouldn't kill yourself. I want to feel good before I go out. Is that so wrong? Just don't kill yourself, Siri, and let's go, okay? All right, fine. Let me get dressed. Party pooper. I gently open the door. Hey, Sayori, what's up? Eh, uh, nothing much. Just hanging out. Anyways, sorry for leaving you. Hanging this morning. Hope you weren't too surprised. Didn't want to kick the chair out from under you. Oh, don't worry about it, Hallie. 
But really, enough with the subliminal messaging. You really should kill yourself. Oh, you! That's a lot of text. I'll have to, like, pause the recording to see that. I gently open the door. Sayori? Oh, hi, Howie! She jumps up and down, all around, eventually hugging me by the waist. Um, when did you get so short? When did you get so tall? I have always been this tall. So, what you doing in my room? I hope you're not going, <laughs> hoping to do some... No! Nope, 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 nope. No. I'm good. If I wanted to do that, I'd go to Natsuki, thank you very much. Destroyed. I gently open the door. I open my eyes. Here it comes. Football. Oh, I couldn't see what that said. Is it in the history? Fear him, adore him. Uh, I do neither of those things. I gently open the door. Huh? Sayori, are you hiding somewhere? Suddenly, I feel something wrap around my neck, choking me. Hiya! Sayori doesn't release her grip until my vision fades to black. Mm. Must be a British mod. They spelled it with a C. Now you may be wondering, how can I get one of these to protect my home from intruders? Well, I'll tell you. Call or text the number on your screen right now to place your order. Call or text 503-893-9667 for a free consultation. I don't think you should. But wait, there is more. Call in the next 20 minutes to get half off of your new Psst, you didn't say how much they cost. Right! Come buy one for only $19.99. And if you call in the next 10, we'll throw in a copy of Doki Doki Cliche Club. Don't forget, you get a free self-defense landmine as well. This is the best purchase $20 can get you, isn't that right, Hallie? Uh, yeah. Okay, think we're good. Thanks, Hallie. Anytime. I gently open the door. Sayori! Ah! Hallie! What are you doing here? You, you were supposed to go to the festival! I couldn't. I couldn't stop thinking about you. All the times we spent together. You remember that time we went to Detroit? This is so fun, right Sayori? Sayori? Where'd she go? I look around and spot two incredibly cute ski masks carrying Sayori away, kicking and screaming! Fucker stole my damn Sayori. Can't have shit in Detroit. Ah, <laughs> memes. Oh no, she killed herself. Man, I had to chase those girls down two blocks until they decided you weren't worth it. Crazy times. We've been through so much together. And I don't want that to end. Sayori? Ah, damn it, she killed herself again. I gently open the door. Ellie! I, uh, I'm sorry. Quit being a pussy. Huh? Hang yourself, bitch, damn. Don't just stand there. We're here for shock value, not for you to fucking live. Come on, I'm waiting. All right. Siri walks over to her desk. Oh, wait, sorry, that's Say Roy. She grabs a chair and starts to drag it over. I look to my wrist. Ugh, we're behind schedule. Chop, chop. Sayori's won't kill themselves. Oh, wait. Yeah, they do. Anywho, I'm going to make myself a grilled cheese. If you aren't dead by the time I'm back, I'll be very disappointed. I softly open the door. Wait, that's not it. Hmm. I slowly open the door? No, no. It's gotta be lightly? Nope. Come on, man, I don't have all day! I gotta kill myself eventually! I know, I know, but there's like a format to this. I just need to remember what it was. I mildly open the door. I kindly open the door. I tenderly open the door. No, that's still not it. I delicately open the door. I sensitively open the door. I open the door in a politically correct manner. You know, if you put this much care in how you treated me, I probably wouldn't kill myself. Go whine to someone who cares, Sayori. Ugh, fine. Dumb bitch. 
Gently? Yeah, that's it. All right. I gently open the door. Oh, hey, Sayori. Do you want to get... There were words there. Do you want to go work on those pamphlets for the festival before Monica gets mad at... Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake. And you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you really put me in a trap, Allie. The funny thing is, I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Allie? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. And you know that? Why do you think I'll eat the school every day? I guess most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy in carrying the waste by having them spend it on me? And that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Why do they even think I didn't tell them? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> Sayori, that's cool and all. And I feel bad for you, but... Who asked? I gently opened the door. Sayori? Ah. Sayori sighs. speak English anytime. What? <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak upside down punctuation. I gently open the door. The door is stuck. Is something banging against it? That's it. I'm coming in there. Oh dear. What the fuck? <laughs> the entire literature club is going at it. Well, except for me. Hey, girls. They seem to ignore me. So, uh, can I join? No! I gently open the door. Oh, they're so big. 
Yuri, what are you doing with Yuri's clothes? Oh, hello, Hallie. Hi? Yeah, alright, I'll just, uh, leave you guys to it. I gently open the door. Wow, it's so small! Wait, what are you doing with Nats' clothes? Sup? Really, say, are we doing this shit again? <laughs> Whatever. And Natsuki, nice flats. I gently open the door. Wait. What are you doing with Siri's clothes? They're mine, Hallie. Oh, yeah. Carry on. I was half expecting Sayori to lean in naked from the side. I gently open the door. Now there's a bunch of Sayoris. Wow, that's a lot of Sayoris. Well, at least one of you won't kill themselves. Nope! Oh, come on! I gently open the door. Uh... Sayori? What's up? Is this some kind of new decoration? <laughs> no. Yeah, I was... It's supposed to be your neck. Huh? If you want to hang yourself, you put your neck through the noose, not the chair. That goes on the ground and you stand on it. Jeez, Sayori, you're such a dummy. No wonder you're trying to kill yourself. Well, Ellie, thanks! Anytime! I gently open the door. See ya! No. This can't be happening. After everything we've been through, after all the Sayoris that we hanged, I just couldn't take it anymore. Or it just couldn't take it anymore. I should have seen it coming. I should have! This is my fault. I ignored their problems, and now... Robocoon is dead. Screw this. Screw Sayori. Screw the Literature Club. I just lost my best friend. What... What am I gonna do now? Without Nooseman from Earthbound. I gently open the door. Do not trust her under any circumstances. Annie? What the fuck are you still doing in here? I told you, you were fired. Pick up your damn things and get the fuck out of my sight. If I don't see your resignation on my desk by 4 p.m., I will beat the shit out of you with a lead pipe. I slam the door shut. I gently open the door. Oh, no. It's that CG from Pink Eyes. Damn it, wrong girl. I gently open the door. Again? Oh, no. It's that CG from Fallen Angel. Fucking hell. Now my foot is damp. I gently open the door. What the fuck? How did all this blood get everywhere? Oh no, is that CG from the good ending? Question mark, pretty sure. Did a box cutter knife do all that? It's on the wall too. What, did she rub her bleeding neck onto everything before passing out? Wow, Monica. Just wow. I quickly opened the door. How are there two of you? Well, how do you think we keep killing ourselves? I thought you just, like, regenerated or something. No, it's a new Sayori every time. Every time is two words. Like, look! Sayori brings me to her closet. So, what? Just open it up! Ah! They've been in the closet this entire time? Mm-hmm. How do you even make this many? Oh, well, there's so much going on up here, so we're easily reproducible. I don't think reproducible is a word. Maybe it is. I... Uh, I closed the closet. Well, when you look at the time... Wait, what's the... Oh, God, fuck! Shit, there's two of them hanging from the ceiling. That's somebody else's problem, I guess. I mean, there were five of them before. I gently opened the door. Move along, there's nothing to see here. Wait, wait, what's going on? Please, Hallie, let us do our jobs, okay? But I don't understand. Jeez, she really made a mess this time, huh? At least it's better than the time where five of them hung at once. Yeah, that one was a nightmare. Anyway, come back in a couple of seconds, Hallie. We should have everything ready by then. All right. I gently opened the door. Sayori? Oh god, it's that doll. It's that freaking doll. No. Wait. Since when was it nighttime? Uh, I don't... I can't read that. That's not a language I know. Oh, hey, Sayori, how's it going? Ah, good to hear. 
Mm-hmm. How am I? I... I guess I've been doing good. Ugh. So uncanny. Thanks for asking. So, you ready for the festival? Alright, let's go. I hate it. Get rid of it, please. Okay, I was wondering if it was waiting for me to press. I gently opened the door. And now there's JoJo's happening. Oh, you're approaching me? I thought you'd abandon me. I can't hang the shit out of you unless I come closer. Oh, really? Then come as close as you like. Hmm. Sayori? Sally! Sayori! Ah, crap. I gently open the door. It's raining. Wait. What? How is it raining inside your room, Sayori? Franklin's got a little out of hand. Oh. I'm sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It was never your fault in the first place. Okay. My hands jitter as they reach the doorknob. A part of me fears what's behind it. She seemed so down the other day. I need her to know that I'm here for her. Boyfriend or not, I take a deep breath. Here goes. I gently open the door. Sayori? She's asleep. The dust particles from her window are illuminated by the glaring sunlight. She looks so peaceful. It's somewhat reassuring. At least she isn't haunted in her dreams. I lean over and gently place my hand on her arm. I whim whisper in her ear. For some reason I saw a whimper there, but it's definitely whispered. Hey, Sayori, wake up, silly. No response. I shake her a bit more. She lets out a small grunt, her lips parting slightly. Mm, five more minutes. Come on, Sayori, we have to go to the festival. Later. Come on. I shake her a bit more. I'll get up eventually. Sayori, are you not feeling up to it? She shakes her head weakly. No, really. I put my hand on her forehead and give her a gentle smile as I start caressing her hair. Her frizzy mop, a mess of tangled strands that are broken apart by my fingers, going through them. I'll give Monica a call. I think she'll understand. I don't want to disappoint her. Don't worry about how she'll feel. Sometimes you gotta worry about yourself, Sayori. I'm not. Shh. Yes, you are. She stares into my eyes as tears well up in hers. How about the both of us stay in for the day? Sally, you can't. I can. It's not like I put all that much effort into the festival anyway. It'll be fun. We can just chill out for a bit. Catch up. How does that sound? Well, I'm not sure you should do this, Sally. Well, I am. Rather, well, I am. Because it, it, I guess it works either way. Every second with you is a gift, Sayori. I'm not wasting any more of them. <laughs> now, how about you finish that nap while I go down and make us some breakfast? Sounds good. Her eyes close as their moisture drips to her cheeks. I slowly stand up and head out to the door. But before I reach... Wait, Hallie. Yeah? Can you stay with me for just a bit longer? My face relaxes as a smile breaks out. I look to the open door. I'll stay with you for as long as you need. Grabbing the doorknob, I pull the door in and close it. Oh, that's so wholesome and nice. Thank you for playing. Created by Fit, Crimson, Flasium, and Willanation of the various artists. And... Well, there you go. And that was, I gently opened the door. Unless there's more, which I don't know if there is. There isn't! That was it! All right. Well, that's another one and done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll pick up next time with more Doggy Doggy. Bye.